Hi everyone and welcome to a desk tour. So I wouldn't say that my desk is formally finished in any way. I am definitely almost always changing up my desk setup and all the things that I have on it, but I have made some really exciting updates that I kind of wanted to show you guys and just show you how I'm generally organizing my desk and how it works. I no longer work at my desk when I'm working from home. I actually have a second desk out in the living room that I use because I need to use an external monitor to do all the work I do with my work laptop. But that has kind of freed up my office space to truly be my office and really disconnect when I am at home. Uh, from working from home, I have a space where I know that I'm not working and it's very much separate from my job. So that has been really key for my mental health and also my productivity. I feel like when I have my work set up at my office where I have like all of my books, all of my journaling supplies, all of my candles, my cozy chair, I don't want to work as much. But if my work setup is in the living room away from all of this, I work so much more. So I made that change and also I've just been really enjoying my space that much more because of it. really wanted to share with you guys today how my desk kind of looks on average. I try to clean up my desk at least a few times a week, especially if I know I'm going to be working at it, like doing some spreads. Or reading or something I like having a clean space and then messing it up and cleaning it up later um, so this is going to be a tour of my desk at its cleanest Tala will probably be in the background for most of this she is being especially clean today and she loves hanging out with me when I'm at my desk so please excuse any clattering of her little toes that you might hear Okay, so I kind of wanted to start with this corner just because it's the simplest and the easiest to get to. I have the same chair that I've always had. This is like from Office Depot or something. It's super comfortable. It has a really long like place where you sit so I can actually squat on it, which as a Filipino, I love to do. I also have a paper shredder in the corner that I just pull out when I need it. In terms of my gaming setup, I just have one 24 inch monitor. As I learned from grad school, I hate having more than one monitor, especially for daily usage. So I just have a 24 inch monitor. I have two Logitech speakers and I will show you guys my specs in a second. Underneath the desk, I just have a trash can and my computer itself and then the world's shittiest excuse for cable management okay so in terms of gaming accessories and tech specs i have a little 3d printed sd card and usb holder this has holders for all of my sd cards and other usbs that i have so if i have like a flash drive or a wireless mouse connector i'll usually hold those here my computer is not currently on, but I usually have the colors on for my keyboard. Our really good friend gave us this keyboard because he builds keyboards and he upgraded his setup. This used to be his daily driver, but he switched to a different setup and has even thockier keys now. So he gave us this, I believe this is a, oh, it actually does light up. Uh, I think this is an echo keyboard and it has Gateron switches. He lubed and modded this and it sounds beautiful. And then as always, I have my Logitech wired gaming mouse that I have used for years and years and years now. I literally will not use any other mouse. This is my favorite mouse. My desk mat is a gift from my partner that is from my old setup and I still love it very much. I finally cleaned it. Um, you can just throw these in the laundry machine in case you were wondering. HyperX headphones that I use for editing and gaming. And then my hard drive big dog back here if you know you know. Um, I have a couple of coasters because I'm always drinking things. Okay, now on to the stationary setup that I've got going. So in this little bin that I have here, I've just got some random ephemera. So a traveler's notebook insert that I'm working on, some pictures, my corner rounder, some stamps, and yeah, just really random stuff that doesn't have another place to go, but it fits really nicely in this basket. Um, and then I have my annotating pencil case here. Uh, it's currently empty right now because I'm usually sitting at my desk and reading, so I don't really have 
a use for taking this around. And then we get to this part of my desk, which I recently constructed. So it's a shelving unit that is currently held by four figurine boxes. So I got these tall figurine boxes from Daiso. I got the inspiration from shelves that use bricks to separate the shelves and also hold up the shelves. Um, I didn't want to use bricks, obviously, so I found these tall collector's plastic display things. Oh god, that was terribly said. And I've just put some of my trash keys in there so you can see my little Hito, my Suzuki Jimny, and then I've got some Toy Story ephemera in the other two, but I have four of these as posts for a little floating shelf that I got from Lowe's for like 10 bucks and I use that to kind of elevate the rest of my stationery collection. So I'll start at the bottom and then work my way up. So in this first drawer here, this is an empty PF Candle Co. candle. I have all of the pens and other stationery tools that I use pretty regularly. So my pencil cleaner, my Ritek vintage ink gel pen, my scissors, um, some rulers, my bone folder, all of that's in here with an easy reach because I use these pretty constantly. And then I have four of these acrylic storage units from Daiso. Let me move this cup of tea, it's gross. And in these I have my Ritek brush sign pens, my Sailor Shigiori brush pens. These are Daiso highlighters that I've come to really love, especially for annotating because they don't bleed as much. These are my Friction Fine Liners, my Acrylograph pens from Archer and Olive. These are all of my Ritek retractable highlighters. And then my Mild Liners right above that. And above my Mild Liners, I have my Pentel Fit Line highlighters. I tried to organize these by similarity of things and usage. So these are going to be the stacks of pens that I reach for the most recently. On the last two stacks, I've got my Pentel Fude Touch and my Tombow Fudenosuke at the top. All of my Zebra Sadasas are under that, and then all of my Unipropis window highlighters under that. I have a couple of brush pens here at the bottom, so I have my Pit Artist brush pens, my Ritek Twin brush pens, and then the two Ecoline ones that I bought recently that I'm testing out. Above that, I have all of my Uniball Signos. Um, both the broad ones and then the really tiny tip ones. All of my sparkly gel pens are up here. All of the ones that have like no markings that my friends have gotten me but have beautiful glitter in them are going to be right here. And then also all of my pilot juices are going to be here. So I have my regular pilot juices and then my ill millies are going to be right here. And then on top of the shelf in front of the drawers, I just have a candle almost always going, especially when it's cold out. Um, I love candles. This pouch is what contains all of my crocheting supplies. I've been really into crocheting recently, so I have my needles, my hooks, and all of my like scissors and trimmers and whatnot are in here. And then currently I have my Stalogy and a da -da -da, a Leuch term up here. I finally got a hardcover grid Leuch term. Um, and those are just sitting there when I need them for journaling. I don't have a plan for the Lloyd's trim currently, but when I do, I will update you guys. And then behind those things, so I have three, no, four stamps here. One is a little kitty stamp, and then I have three BTS stamps. Um, I'm not a huge fan of BTS, but I got these because of the colors, if you know, you know. Um, and then I have these pen towers from before. I've got my elephant tape and my favorite washi tape above those. Um, we've got some miscellaneous gel pens here. Some more miscellaneous gel pens. I think these are colored and these are black gel pens. My Marvi Le Pen Flexes, my Stabilo 68s, Pentel Energels, uh, my Uni Emots, my Muji pencil crayons, um, Pilot Razor points, and then my Zebra Click Arts. Um, at the bottom here, I just have some more like journaling supplies and a lighter. This hasn't changed much over the desk tours, but in this, uh, I think it's a Uni Labo pencil case. It's a standing pencil case and it's the Otter version. In the head, I have 
glue tape and correction tape and then a bunch of brush pens and other really tall journaling ephemera and tools in here. And then on top of this set of drawers, I just have a Muji calendar, a little acrylic stand of my favorite Fire Emblem hero, which is Hilda. This little thing has a bunch of notepads and then also my pencil board. And then my Sunstar Del Day pouch, which is always open, has all of my multi pens, and that's mostly for display. For this first set of plastic drawers, I have all of my stamping supplies. So all of my clear stamps are in here, and then all of my ink pads and some more clear stamps and their blocks are in here. At the very bottom, I have my day stamps, my friction stamps, and then a couple of page markers at the very bottom. Washi tape right there, those are my most frequently used washi tape. So they sit on my desk. And then this last set of plastic drawers that you can barely see because of the light is all sticker stuff. So small sticker sheets, sticker flakes, large sticker flakes, large sticker sheets, and then at the bottom is going to be sticky notes. So this last part of my desk is where I spend 90% of my time at my desk. I've always got a drink there. I've got a stack of books, what I'm currently reading usually on my desk. This is my laptop. It's a Microsoft Surface laptop. Four, I think Microsoft Surface 4 laptop and then my traveler's notebooks are here on top of a kitchen towel that I just like having. I have a Ikea clamp lamp. It clamps onto your desk and is a lamp uh, and it swivels so you can move it and reposition it really easily. Oops perhaps a little too easily. And then I just have my Aces VIP lanyard there as well. So that's it for my desk tour. I'm really happy with my space right now, especially the little shelf that I've got going on. I feel like I have the best access to all of the stationery that I use often when I'm journaling or just hanging out and reading. And yeah, this is my other happy little corner besides my reading nook. And I'm just, I can't, tell you guys enough how much I love my space and how I've really curated it to my needs and what I would like in terms of like just to have a little space where I can be myself and do all of the stuff that I love to do so I'm so excited to share this with you guys and I'm so happy that I was able to make this happen in our new home so I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy my little space I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and a good rest of your week and I'll see you next time bye